Welcome to Quintech GC solution. Here the solutions of all the GC solution at the GC pass question node are available. Today our topic today is completing the square and circle. This is a topic that is mostly familiar with advanced level GC equations, back, baccalaureate, preparatoire, pass question. With this topic, before we embark on this topic, we need to throw some light on quadratic. What's quadratic? What's quadratic function or equation? Quadratic function or equation is simply an equation with the highest power of x, which is 2. That is ax squared plus bx plus c. This is a quadratic equation. And here, if you look at the highest power of x, is 2. That makes it a quadratic equation. And for a quadratic function, say f of x, which is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This is a quadratic function. It's a quadratic function because the highest power of x is 2. Then, we can now move on to our quadratic function. Defining the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation we want to solve. We want to solve this quadratic equation. And this quadratic equation can be solved using a lot of methods. The first method First method, factorization. Completing the square. Formula method. So these are the methods we can use to solve quadratic equation. And we can even solve them graphically, sure. Graphically. Let me solve them graphically. So a quadratic equation is an equation with the highest power of x2. That means that for us to solve for our changing variable x, x must have two values. Now, we have an example of a quadratic equation. We want to solve this quadratic equation using the method of factorization. To solve a quadratic equation by factorization, we simply look at our constant term. If you look here, our constant term here is 6 and uh, if you look 5, which is our the coefficient of x and the coefficient of x squared here is 1. So for solving this thing by factorization, we need to first of all consider the combination a multiplication of what the coefficient of x squared and the constant term by relating this equation to the standard quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero that means c is equal to six and e equals to one so by the method of factorization we consider a multiplication a multiplication of a c which is simply 6 times 1, which gives us 6. Now, considering the multiplication of AC, which is 6 times 1, equals to 6, now we can look for the factor of 6. Factors of 6. We have 1, 2, 3, and 6 itself. Now, grouping these factors, we are going to have 1 and 6, 2 and 3. And these factors of 6 can be either positive or negative. So we might have plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus, plus or minus 6. Now we are going to look for what? What factors of 6 we are going to add together or subtract together to give us 5x? So we are going to look for those factors. 
factors that will add together will give us 5x and what we multiply together will give us our constant term 6. Now let's look. 1 and 6, can we try them? Let's say 6 minus 1 will give us 5, right? 6 minus 1 will give us 5. What about 6 times 1? 6 times minus 1 give us what? Minus 6, which is differ different from our constant term. So we are going to look for a factor that one will add together or subtract together will give us 5 and one will multiply together will give us 6. So we are going to try 2 and 3. You can see that if we add 2 plus 3, it give us plus 5 and 2 plus 2 times plus 3 give us plus 6. That means that 2 and 3 are the factor which when we add together will give us plus 5 and when we multiply together will give us plus 6. So we are going to add them in the equation. So we are simply going to have x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 equals to 0. Now we are going to apply what we call factorization by grouping. Factorization factorization by grouping factorization by grouping by simply collecting like variables together and unlike variables together we are going to combine x squared plus 2x together and 3x plus 6 together equals to 0 now if you look at x squared plus 2x what's familiar you see that there is x that is familiar between them so we are going to factorize x away from them so we are going to have x into x plus 2 and here we are going to factorize what's common 3 and 6 3 is a factor of 6 then we are going to factorize 3 we are going to have plus 3 into x plus 2 equals to 0 so what's familiar now What's familiar is x plus 2 and x plus 2. Now we factorize x plus 2. Factorize x plus 2, we are going to have x plus 3 equals to 0. Then equating our factors to 0, we have x plus 2 equals to 0 and x plus 3 equals to 0, which give us x equals to minus 2 and x equals to minus 3. So these are the factors or solutions for the equation x squared plus 5x plus 6. So this is how we solve a quadratic equation by factorization.